Good morning, guys. It's a little dark outside. But anyhow, um, I have this remote start that I'm going to attempt to install in Able. And it's a very simple design. It's just single button remote start. I printed out the wiring diagrams off the internet last night. And um, there's very few connections, so I'll show you basically what has to be done. You have this is just a uh, hood open pin switch, so the motor doesn't start when the hood's open. I'm sure this will mount under the cab somewhere against the C channel. So that's pretty simple. <coughs> um, the other things that you need to hook up are this main harness. This main harness has 12 volt power for ignition one, ignition two, and start. So I'm going to tie all those together to the ignition switch. Um, what else is on this one? Can't remember right offhand. But there's ignition one, ignition two, and start on here. So those will get tied into the ignition switch. Um, there's a valet button for programming the unit. There is an antenna that gets mounted on the vehicle on the inside of the window somewhere so that it can pick up the signal from the remote. Um, the main one in this is uh, tack signal and light output which is the one with the fuse so it'll flash your parking lights when it's starting got the bird in here um, aside from that I don't think there's anything else that we need to use out of the kit so it's about six connections and programming and then the uh, remote should work so we're going to give that a go this morning. I also have a couple other things I want to do, but I don't know if we'll get to them. So we'll see. All right, guys. It's been about three or four hours this morning going through and checking uh, on the relays that I need and comparing that with what I need on the uh, driver's side there to get this uh, remote start installed. What I figured out the easiest way is going to be to tap into the relays for some of the signals that I need. That way the only thing that the um, remote start unit is acting as is a just basically a giant relay with a, a remote on it. So what I've done is you remember that thermostat wire that I told you guys is so handy to have for sending 12 volt signals or 24 volt signals to relays. Well, I pulled that in through the wireway channel that's down here behind the heater unit um, to the other side. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap into the relays that I need over here. Uh, I'm going to make some pigtails to do that. Some spade pigtails to do that for the relays that I need. It's basically going to be, um, this one I believe is the marker lights. And then there's another one on here for uh, brake brake signal uh, and then there's a couple other ones that I was going to use as well I'm also going to put a switch in here to turn the remote start off rather than using the <coughs> pin switch for the cab tilt um, myself and maybe one other person would probably be the only people that ever work on this rig so it'll be pretty simple to turn that on and off uh, utilizing that switch um, other than that, I'm going to go start making some pigtails and I'll come back and show you guys how I hook it up. Alright guys, moving right along. Um, I've got the three harnesses in here that I need. Um, I've got to connect a parking light output and brake kill switch on this. Which is going to go over to the relay panel there. So once again, it's just sensor wires. Uh, I've got to get that hooked up, and then we'll do a little test. I'll plug the unit in, and uh, we'll see if it works. Alright guys, I got everything hooked up the way it's supposed to be. The remote right here. I'm going to go outside the vehicle, and we're going to try to remote start the vehicle. Here we 
go. Hold it three seconds to shut it off. <coughs> um, let's test the um, anti-theft portion where if you push on the brake it should shut off. So we'll remote start it again. Press the brake. Works. Does exactly what it's supposed to do. I'm going to get this buttoned up. All this wiring put away. Tie wraps, electrical tape, insulation, all that good stuff. Alright guys, I put in a safety switch. Uh, when it's in the up position, it is on and the valet switch is sitting right there in case they want to do some programming uh, to the uh, ECU for the remote sir I got everything uh, tucked away back there I made a wiring loom probably hard to see down there but I made a wiring loom and tucked everything away and tie wrapped it to itself so it's good to go I did test it it does still work so nothing popped loose while I was doing all that now I just got to get the cab back together and move on to the next project. Alright guys, I labeled the switch so that if anybody got in here they couldn't confuse the two. Put a warning label in here as well. I think that pretty much covers it for the remote start. Uh, by the way, that module was 26 bucks shipped on Amazon. And it's about the simplest uh, remote setup I could find so if you guys are interested in it look up uh, the model number here it's a uh, Avital 4115L and the uh, installation and pinouts are found on Google you can type that model number in and it'll come up but yeah for 26 bucks that's hard to beat got remote start there's also an activation wire on it um, that I may hook up to a low voltage sensor so let's say we're up camping in the snow or something and we're sleeping and it drops below 11 volts the truck will uh, start up and run for 24 minutes and then shut off so that would be a, a pretty good uh, thing to put in I still have to locate one of those yet I haven't done a search <laughs> all right <clears throat> on to another project here Willow got another <coughs> gladiator cabinet assembled and I picked up some uh, more parts for the shower. We're going to enlarge the uh, curtain area. It's a little bit small, so it'll be a double curtain setup uh, using these tracks that overlap each other. So I'm going to go in the shelter and start working on that. Okay, well, I took the single circular rail down and uh, I made an overlap. You can kind of see the pattern I did here. That should work out better. That way we have the table here. You can set your soap or your shampoo or whatever on the table and take a shower. And it's awesome. And this can actually go all the way back into the corner uh, for storage. So it leaves it nice and open in here until we take a shower. Well, got that cabinet up. Now it's time to vacuum all the beach sand and the metal shavings out of here. So I'm gonna do that. But I think that's going to be it for today, guys. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch my videos on my YouTube channel. And as always, if you like my videos, you find them helpful, hit like, subscribe, turn on your notifications so you know when I'm uploading another video. Alright, we'll see you guys, guys later. Bye-bye.